you know, when we're talking about these wars, we're talking about a long stretch of time and a lot of different policies under two different presidents. Um, and, you know, periods of, of pretty bad policy and, and, you know, periods with much better policy. And I think that um, one thing that I, that I dislike is, is, is the search for one sort of simple narrative that allows us to, you know, kind of put the Iraq war off in, in, in a box and we know how to feel about it. Um, I think that uh, when we think about the war, we, we, should, <laughs> we should all feel a little bit uncomfortable. We should, we should feel responsible for not just, you know, the initial stages of the war, but for everything that's happened because, you know, we're all citizens in a country that uses military force. You know, when I started the book, I, I don't know if I was, <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to shape the narrative of the Iraq War. I wasn't necessarily sure what even that should be, though I, had a, I just had a lot of questions. And I think um, probably I, I, what I really wanted to do was complicate the narrative um, to write about things that I didn't think were talked about or talked about enough, um, and hopefully to, you know, to spark some, some discussion. There are all these different ideas out in the culture, and I think we're still coming to terms with it. And, you know, uh, there's a lot of work being written by, by veterans now, um, you know, uh, novels, short story collections like my own. There are a lot of veterans in journalism, and I think that, that um, and also a lot of really sort of thoughtful civilians. And so I think that that's, you know, we're still in the midst of that process of trying to figure out what is, what is the best way to make sense of this huge thing that we've done and that keeps on going.